Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of the, uh, the best comics uh, for newcomers. Part 1 we talked about uh, DC Comics, part 2 we talked about Marvel. Today we're going to be uh, talking about all, all kinds of fucking comics. Uh, a lot of them that really don't fit in any kind of category. Uh, they can be Image, Vertigo, Dark Horse, Dynamite, IDW... Uh, now I'm gonna change the title for this video instead of it being the best comics for new readers uh, since every single comic that in this video are standalone stuff it, I mean it, it's kind of you know like goes without question that yeah they're good for new readers so instead I'm just gonna name this video the best non Marvel slash DC comics for uh, comics so in no particular order because we're not doing top tens. Top tens are stupid. Just cause to name name a bunch of shit off the top of my head. At number one, we have the Sandman. Not Jack Kirby's Sandman. Uh, Neil Gaiman's Sandman. I would say that Neil Gaiman is one of the best comic writers ever. Which is kind of weird because he's only written like a handful of stuff. Like Sandman and the Books of Magic. And I think that that's it actually. But Sandman is so fucking good. It is so goddamn good that it is considered one of the best comics ever. It's even in my top three favorites of all time. What is Sandman about? It's about many different things. Uh, actually, I went into Sandman not knowing anything. And you know what? I think you should just go into Sandman not knowing anything. Just read it and expect it to be really good. Fables! Fables is like Once Upon a Time, but good. The two main characters are Big B, Big Bag Wolf, and Snow White. There's actually a lot of main characters actually. Uh, so much so that it can kind of be hard to follow what's going on and whatever. But it's a pretty great series. It's a very long one and uh, I highly recommend it. American Vampire. Vampires get a bad rap because of you know Twilight. But making fun of Twilight is really fucking old. So I'm not going to even make fun of it. American Vampire is, in my opinion, the best vampire comic of all time. It's about two vampires, Skinner Sweet and Pearl Jones. One of the best things about American Vampires is that it progresses as it goes on. It starts off in the late 1800s and then goes through the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And while the main characters stay the same age. So that's really fucking cool. And it's really awesome. It's pretty badass. It's written by Scott Snyder, so it's pretty great. Soga. So, Soga. Brian K. Vaughn is one of my personal favorite writers. And uh, this is probably one of his best works, in my opinion. Why the Last Man is pretty great, but this, I think, is a bit more entertaining, I guess. Saga is a uh, space opera about two people who fell in love during a war from both of their species and they have a baby and they're basically just trying to live and with try to raise a family by themselves but so much so much shit goes wrong there is one problem with the series in that uh it's a bit too weird and way too edgy sometimes it's like the series tries to take pride in it it's like oh we have a dragon sucking its own dick and oh look, we have a town that's called Abortion Town. Isn't that so weird and edgy? No, that's just kind of stupid. Despite that though, the series is pretty great. Great. And I recommend reading it. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, we have Saga of the Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. If you're going to read one Alan Moore comic ever, then make it Swamp Thing. Would you believe me? If I said that it's, it is his best work out there. No, you wouldn't? Well, trust me. It's really damn great. I've heard that Miracle Man is pretty great. I haven't read it yet. I'm sure if I do, I'll probably change my opinion and say that that is his best work. 
but Swamp Thing is pretty good competition. His run is what made me love Swamp Thing. If you think Swamp Thing is a stupid character, I mean, it's his name is pretty stupid. It's Swamp Thing. The only thing that's stupider than his name is Man Thing. But Swamp Thing is special. It will change your complete perception of the character. It will change your perception and comics in general. It's so eye-opening. It's so great. It's like it's like All-Star Superman. You know, it's like first you're like, eh, "I don't really care about this character. I think he's kind of boring." And then you read it and you're like, "Holy shit, this is the best fucking thing in the world." Oh. And that's whoop, That's about it for this video. It's going to be a short one, unfortunately, but yeah, there you go. Keep in mind, I haven't read everything out there, so I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff out there that I haven't even mentioning in this video. Uh, now, because of that, I might, I might make more of these videos just to talk about more comics because, because why not? Comics are great. Overall, have some fun with these comics. Go read them. Go read them. It's good. They're really good. Watch my other videos too if you want to read DC or Marvel. Go read them. Do it. Okay.